today I'm going to show you how I made a worm compost bin planter. To start, you're going to grab your tray and put in a layer of soil. And then I used some cut veggies that I had in my scrap bin. Then I poured in the worms from Uncle Jim's Worm Farm. They come in their own soil and you can see them wriggling around. They also don't like light, so they try to burrow down. So I put in a layer of wet papers and stuck them back in their bag. Now let's get started. First, I wanna measure out to 48 inches because that's how long I wanted my planter to be. I used my miter saw, but you could use a regular saw. Then I took the cut piece so that I could use it to mark where the next lines were gonna be. And then I just continued on. I cut three pieces and then used two of the scraps for the bottom because I wanted a tray for the worm tea to have a place to drink. Then I marked where I was gonna cut off the sides and marked them on both sides and cut them off with my miter saw. Now I have a perfect spot for my tray to fit. Next up, I took this two by two piece of cedar and cut it to fit the height of my planter. Then I took the cut pieces and used a piece of spare planter material so that I could find the right spot and have them even on both sides. And then I marked off where I need to cut it for height. Then I used my miter saw again to cut off those pieces and now it's a perfect fit on both sides. I used my finish nailer so that I could just keep them in place and then also used my staple gun to keep the boards in place before actually drilling them in together. Then you do the same for the back. For the bottom pieces, I did five strips of the planter. And here I just attached some spare wood that I had and used a hammer and nail just to keep these in place before I drilled them through in the back. I used this Ryobi countersink drill bit so that I could do pilot holes so that when I drilled in the deck screws that they wouldn't be protruding out, that they would be countersunk in. So this is me drilling in the pilot holes and then using deck screws in to drill in through the wood. Now I placed the bottom up against to the front and screwed them into the side pieces that we attached earlier so that they would stay attached to your planter. Yay! It fits. For the sides, just measure the length that you need and cut away. And then you fix it to the two by two that you attached before. And now you have your base for your planter. That can fit me. Originally I was gonna do wooden legs, but I didn't know how to make wooden legs. So I just used cinder blocks and spray painted it with Rust-Oleum spray paint in black. And while that was waiting to dry, I decided to work on the inside of the planter. Now I wanted this tray to fit in so that any juices leaked out from the worm castings would have a place to go so that you could use it for fertilizer. And so I used a milk crate, but the milk crate has large holes at the bottom of it. Um, I had this old window screen from when I thought I was going to change my window and I didn't. So I used that to help block off most of the soil and for the worms to stay in. I just marked it and then cut it with some tit snips and then marked it again to make sure that I actually got it to fit correctly. Then I just used some hot glue to press it down. I should have used some crazy glue or some other type of glue, but this is all I had and I really needed these worms to get in here because I did not want them to dry out. Now it's time to put your worms into their new home. So you want to do a layer of soil and also moist newspaper or paper towels so that they have a place to wriggle around in. And there they are. The next day I realized that when I put the tray in and thought about it, the soil would just kind of topple over into where the tray would be. So I fixed more 4x4s so that it wouldn't fall into my tray. Then I took some landscaping fabric and laid it over and stapled it into place. So I may have went a little overly aggressive on stapling this landscaping fabric. I just didn't want anything touching the soil. I don't know why, but whatever. I also didn't show this on camera, but I also did cut slits at the bottom so that excess water would drain out because I didn't want it to just hold in all that moisture. And then when that was done, I just trimmed off any excess fabric and you're done. 
the milk crate was actually a really good idea because not only can the worm stay inside the milk crate, but also travel in and out of the milk crate into the planter and fertilize the soil around it as well. After I placed the worm composting bin inside, I filled the rest of the planter with soil. I used specifically raised planter soil just because I didn't know if there's a difference. I'm not a plant person, so I have no idea, but that's what it said, so I used it. I already kill a lot of plants and I'm really hoping this one survives. And there you go, that's the planter. Now you just gotta add some plants. Now you can water your plants and also add a lid for the top of your compost bin. And make sure you only add newspaper and cut veggies, no meat. And that's it, you guys. That's the planter slash compost bin slash bench. Thanks for watching and I hope you subscribe. Please subscribe. You should subscribe. Actually, I don't really care. Or do, I don't know. But check out my other videos and if you'd like, you can check out my website at www.ohellothere.com. Thanks, bye.